Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode 19 now I believe. Um, I think it's 19. I'm pretty sure it's 19. Uh, it's episode 19 of my Age of Engineering Let's Play series. So today what we're going to be doing is a bit of a, uh, well I'm not sure how long it's going to take. It's an auto setting up our auto crafting for RF tools. Now this can be extremely buggy and annoying. Um, not in terms of our tools being buggy but in terms of my of the coding that we've, we've got to do in the RF tool system to craft everything can cause errors um, and I'm going to do it live on camera with you just to make sure that everything's okay and hopefully we can replicate everything that's done in a test world already. Um, so we are going to need a few new machines before we can move on. We can, we've got our, as you can see, our processor and stuff here which we had before and then there's an extra power cell over there which is where we're going to be setting the, our, the auto uh, crafting stuff to do it. Um, so. Well, first of all, let's, let's get started and look what we need to craft before we do anything else. So, what we need to do first is we need to get a, uh, one of the things we need is a workbench. This, now, this workbench is going to be where we are going to store um, our patterns and where the actual crafting is going to take place. So, let's quickly make this. We should have everything we need for that. Bang, like that. So, that's our workbench. So, we'll place this down over here. Um, and, uh, 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 okay, I can't put it down, I can't put it down yet. Because I need to put next to a node. So the next thing we want to do is, as like I said, is create a node. So we created nodes before. Nodes are really easy. You should just do this, and then we end up pearl, redstone, all these machine frames, and a card base. We should do everything in for this, like that. Perfect. So what we're going to do is put this node uh, right in front of this um, power cell here. And I will, I will prettify this up a little bit. But for now, this is just as we want it. Um, and then with this node, what we want to do is put it onto the home channel that we want, and we don't want it for crafting. Oh, the mouse out of the way. We want it on channel the so node to be called crafting, like so. So now what we can do is to go make sure we can see it. Let's go over to here. Let's clear that out, and then do net setup da -da -da -da. home. And there we go, now it says it can see two nodes. So that's that node there and this node here, which is exactly what we want to see. Now with this workbench, you can put this workbench here. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it on the south of um uh of the node. That is you need to bear you do need to bear in mind what side to put it on and reference that because that will be as part of the program we're gonna need to be creating. Um okay, so the next machine that we want to actually make is the uh crafting station. So if we can find the crafting station which is here and then make this this is two two cards a bit of redstone two crafting tables uh, and then one of the machine bases now I think we need some more of these and some more of these let's make a couple of these and then you and then you of course I didn't need the cards today um, one of you two three of you because I need another one of you for later on and then you like so now this crafting station is where we're going to requ requ request request all our auto crafting to come from. So, um, uh, but, but we'll put it here for now. That's where I want to put it because well, we're gonna, and it's going to be a little bit different from over there. But I can always move them around a bit later on. But just for ease of use right now, the crafting station we're going to put next to the node, the crafting node. So again, if we go over here now and we do a net setup home again. You can see now it's found two nodes and the crafting station, which is there, which is perfect. That's exactly, exactly what we wanted to see. Let's just throw you back in the system and you in the system. All right, so now if we look in here, this is what we should see if, we're, if we want to craft anything. Um, and then here is where we put our crafting cards, and this is where the actual crafting would happen. So, um, speaking of crafting cards, we need to make a couple of these cards now. So let's make one of these, let's make a couple of these. So we need one of you, thank you very much, and we also need another program card. And one of you, which one of you, and then another one of you. Like so. So with this program card, what we're gonna do now is go to the programmer and make a new program. So we're gonna clear this out. Uh, ignore this, this is me playing earlier on with it. So clear this out, we're gonna put this into here. And what we're gonna be doing now is creating the actual auto crafting program. So, first thing to do, we need to look for the event for craft. So I'm going to drag this in here, which is basically saying is if we have a craft event, then we need to um, 
start the crafting steps basically. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. so this is the ice to craft, we don't worry about that. Uh, so this is the inventory which is storing the cards. So we want to put this as the with the crafting node, and I'm going to be storing my cards in the workbench, which, which is to the south of the um, the node. So we can put this to the south, like so. So what I'm going to basically end up doing is in this workbench here, I'm going to have my craft these crafting cards here will all be in there, relatively straightforward. Now. The next thing we need to do in here is to put a lock down on the craft so that we can't craft multiple things. So this craft here comes with this here, and then what we do is call this lock crafting. You can call this whatever you want, but make sure you do reference this multiple times throughout the program. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go in and get the smart. Thank you. We want to get get ingredients smart. So that's basically what it's going to do. So that's going to look at the ingredients from the crafting that we've we requested and it's going to get all the ingredients it needs and then make it and put it on to the relevant grid which we're going to set up here. So what we're going to set up here is, uh, so this is telling where all of the the uh, it, the stuff that we want to craft is going to be. This is going to be in our storage system so we're going to leave this empty. Now here it's asking for the crafting card inventory. So again, what we'll go do here, we we'll put this in as the crafting node, and then on the south again, because is the again, this is that workbench over there on, on the back wall, and with the crafting things on the south side of the node. And then what we want to do is then um, don't worry about this one for now. That is relevant for this one. Okay, and if you scroll down, we can see then we've got slots one, two, uh, slots, slots one and slots two. Hover over these, it says the start of internal range slots and the end of um, or the last slot in range. So what we're going to do now is go over to this processor here, and then on this second resource allocation here, what I want to do then is set up uh, set up here. So one, two, zero, two, eight. So this here, uh, no, that's not right. Yeah. So these nine here uh, were all the resources for the for the actual um, uh, for the crafting recipe are going to be placed, and then this number nine one here is going to be where the uh, output is going to be. Now I would have let this go like there and there, but because these ones are already used, actually we don't need them anymore, do we? Because I can go in here and take these off. These aren't used anymore. So let's get rid of you. And get rid of this and put you, 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 and you. So, what I want to do is like this, like this, like this. So, this makes it a bit easier for us to see. These are where our normal crafting pattern, and then this is the output. Um, so, that's relatively easy and straightforward. Actually, I'm going to put this one there as well. Just so, if we need another one, we can put it there. Okay, so again, nice and easy, really, really straightforward, nothing too complicated there. So, now what we're going to set over here, in back in here on this getting into smart. We want to put on the slot one. We want to put this as zero because that's the the lowest slot that we've got, and up to slot eight because number nine, remember, is the one that we uh, want the output to go into, so not the inventory stuff. And then the destination inventory. This is where we're going to put the um, the where, where all the end results are going to go. So we're going to put this in the da 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 da. So crafting. And then uh, I believe it's on the south side, and we want to put it up. Make sure you do put it up in this one because it needs to go up into the um, crafting set. So I'll show you that now. So what I'm what basically done there is put it told everything that that's put it into this crafting workbench here, up here. So it tells it to put it up in here. Um, it it just if you do set to do it up, it will put it here. If you don't, then it can put it down here sometimes. Um, I've only ever seen it do it once. But this is this is if you put it up, it doesn't ever do it, from my experience. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we then need to do a check. So we want to go down and do is equals to. So what we want to do here, and then we want to put the value here is function of the last integer from this craft. So that's basically saying. Is, has all the ingredients been received from the crafter uh, from the crafting recipe? And then what we want to do then is on the second value, we want to set this to minus one. So this base, minus one means false. So that means we don't have the required um, we do not have the required ingredients 
in the system. So we set to false, and then what we're going to do here is set this one to false. And, uh, sorry, no, this one's a true. 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 Ah, true. And this way to false. So we make sure that the green dot is on the true side and the red dot is on the uh, red side. You just double click these and then they change the colors to what you want. Okay, so if this is true and there is no, if there is not enough resources, what we want to do is we want to unlock the system. It's very important. We want to unlock it. Uh, so we want to unlock the crafting lock. And then we want to lock. Uh, we want to mark the uh, operation as failure. Let's put that there. So what's that, what's that? What this basically does now is, it when there's a crafting recipe being triggered, it locks it, tries to get all the ingredients. If it can't get the ingredients, it unlocks it and marks it as a failure. Relatively straightforward. Now, the next step is if we do have the relevant ingredients. So, if we do. Then what we're going to do again is last uh, put this the last integer on the functions. Again, looking at this integer from this, and then what we'll do then is false on the top this time. Red and then green here. Ah, ah. False green. Okay. And then what we'll do here is set this to zero. Now zero in this case means true. So all of the resources have been gathered. If it's more than zero, then it's going to go up here. Means that it needs to get. It, it has more uh, recipes in here, so it needs to craft something else. If there's another crafting recipe, so what this what what we're going to do here is basically a crafting loop, which will set up an auto crafting loop, so that we can request, for example, uh, a fence. And what it will do is it will craft um, planks from logs, and then sticks from planks, and then it'll craft the fence with uh, planks and sticks. Um, if that all makes sense, I will demonstrate it all for you when we get uh, when we get to it, but. For now, that's what we're creating this loop here. So, what we're to do now is, if it's false and we're still waiting for something else to be crafted, we go unlock. We want to unlock this crafting. Da 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 da. da. Crap, not craft on Munga. Crafting. Unlock the crafting, and then we want to have a delay. So we want to find a delay timer here, which is the wait. And I want no wait. And I want this to wait for one second. So we put 20 ticks. And then I want it to then lock the crafting recipe again, like this, and then put at the bottom here to true. And ah, true. Thank you very much. So what it's going to do is it's going to if it's got if it's if it has got all of the um, ingredients, but then it's not all the correct one. It's got too many. Then it's going to go up. It's going to wait. It's going to lock it, and it's going to reassess all the ingredients that's now being crafted. So this, what this basically does is, if we have like so three crafting recipes going. It's going to check to see why, um, check to see what's going on, and it's, if if we're crafting them, it's just going to loop it and loop it and loop it until we, everything has been crafted ready for this recipe. Okay, so that bit there is the is the is the crafting loop. I need to put this to crafting. Don't forget to put them. You ever see them red flashing dots above in the top right corner? It means there's an error with that node. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to move things into our inventory, which is going to be our crafting uh, crafting station. So what we need to do now is we need to find the node for it. I can't remember where it is. Here it is. So it's push multiple items. Um, but, 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 actually, one here. I want to make this to what? That is all right. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we want to put push multiple items. So put this here. And what we're saying here is we want to push the items um, into the into the the workbench. Again, so we're going to go from slot in, which is slot zero, to slot the last slot of the input, which is slot eight, and then we want to go to the. Oh, I think that that should be it. I think. I think we might have to come that back to this one. Um, if you have a bug, then this this one could be causing a bug, but we should be okay. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to uh, push items. No. Yeah, so push multiple items. We won't do that again. We want to fetch the items. So, oh, go into the trash. Thank you. We want to fetch the items from the um, from the crafting session once it's finished. So in here, what we want to do is we want to go from the crafting node, crafting node. 
on the south side on the down now this is important you have to put this access to down to get the output recipe if you don't put it down you won't get the output recipe and you can you'll just pull out the ingredients and obviously we do not want to pull out the ingredients we want the, we just want the return recipe so okay close on there and then we want to scroll down on here and want to put slot out to slot 9 now that is our output slot in our processor as you remember setting up a minute ago okay now what we want to do is that's going to push it into our processor so then I want to go and push the items into our system so here I want to get push like that this is going to push the items into our storage system uh, blah, 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 blah. so this is slot in is number nine like that okay now what I want to do is I want to check uh, this is a, something I've seen online a few other people use I like it so I'm going to put it into my script as well and what I want to do now is I want to check to see if there's anything in the um, anything in the actual workbench still if there is I want to take it out I think I've got an extra step in here which I don't need da -da 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 -da. right give me a quick second guys let me just, guys, let me just quickly check this operation here and I'll be right back with you right now I think we should be okay here so I'm, I'm just gonna leave it I'm just gonna test it in a second um, right so again what we're gonna do here is checking to see if there's anything in the workbench so we want to do here on the inventory which is the crafting and then on the south side up so we're doing here again looking in the crafting panel if there's anything in there this, this comes in useful for things like if we're crafting something like treated wood um, obviously we need a bucket and some planks for that uh, and obviously we get the bucket back so we want to check to see if there's anything in the workbench still which needs to be pulled out and put into the system really easy really straightforward um, okay so we do that which is nice and easy so and now we've got to go and find the greater than so what we're doing here is is the value number of items in here greater than would be zero so again in here function on the last integer we want to go is this greater than zero so what we're basically saying here and it's thundering so I'm quickly gonna go and sleep just to shut up the thunder because no one likes the thunder nobody likes thunder right let's get back over there again so on here if it is greater than zero um, we want it to uh, red go red please go red please Thank you. Green. So if it is greater than zero, we want to fetch the items and push them into our system. So again, we're going to go down to the fetch. Then we go to fetch items, and we're going to get push items. So on this fetch items here, we're going to fetch items from crafting. And on the south side and on up, and we're going to. Um, put them into slot number nine and then we're going to put them into the so we're going to put into our system again to so put into, into our system leaving that blank and we're taking it out from slot nine like that so what we're doing here is if as if the count in the inventory is greater than zero um, then we want to take items out the workbench we, we grab the items put it into our processor and then push them items into our storage system really straightforward okay so when it is not greater than um uh, no, 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 no. no that's wrong we, we want to put this one to succeeded and this one to failed like this sorry so when it is greater than zero we want to go through here and then loop them through and then when it's not and it is equal to zero so there's nothing in the crafting station. What we want to do then is want to unlock it where the unlock is. Unlock crafting there and mark the operation as complete, like so. So I hope that makes sense to you all. So quickly to cover up what we've just done and to double check if there's if we've made any mistakes, we get the um, on the event of a craft, so we press, we want to craft something. It goes into the inventory where the where the crafting of the cards are, where all the, the card crafters are, and it 
gets the relevant card. It puts a lock on there called crafting. It then um, gets all the inventories from the card. And then again on here, the crafting card inventory is on the is it south or north? It's on the north. Okay, we've got to change that. No, no, that was right. Yeah, sorry. Yep, yeah, ignore me. So that's on the south side. So in the south, we're checking that the card is in the south machine, um, and then we're putting all of the stuff for that into slot 0 and 9, and then in the destination up of the, um, of, the of the workbench. Nice and easy. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, I, think, I think we'll leave that as that is for now. And then if everything, if we have everything, then we... Uh, ba, 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 yeah. If we have, if we do not have everything, so there's an error here, then we unlock it and we we uh, mark it as a failure. If we do have everything, so it's not equal to minus one, then we go to here and we do another check. And if we're waiting, for, if we are waiting for another craft, we then unlock, wait, lock it again, and then test the loop and loop. If we're not waiting for the craft and we do have all the elements of the recipe, so we're not waiting for anything else, we then go, we push the items into the See, I think this one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so okay, yeah, so this is pushing the item from the from our inventory into slot 0 and 8 of the processor. We then fetch the items from, no, we want to push the items first. Yeah. We then push the items from slot number no 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 yep no so that's right so sorry i'm just going through this again this, like i said it could be a little bit confusing this part so we're fetching the items and push it into slot zero and eight of the processor we then want to fetch the items here from so we need to push them in from slot zero and eight into the yeah, right, give me a sec, guys. Let me just double check this. Right, guys, I think we have it now. So let's cover where we was at. So we were at this this bit here when I, I got my little queries about it. So we test to make sure everything's okay. If not, we loop through. And then what we do is we push the items. So here we're pushing the items into the inventory on the south and in the into the up slots, which is the crafting grid in the workbench. Now don't forget, the south is where workbench is. Um, and then we are getting the pushing the items from slot zero and eight because we put them in there from here when we got the smart ingredients. Um, and that's as simple as that. Nothing else to do with this one. And then we are fetching the items. Then so what we're doing here is we're then fetching the items from this crafting station, but this time we're, we're fetching it from the um, from the down location on here, which basically means we are grabbing the output and not the inputs. We're then grabbing the output and putting it into slot number nine. Um, so that's nice and easy and straightforward. Into slot number nine in, in our processor. And then what we want to do then is we want to get from slot number nine and push it into our storage system. That's where we've left this inventory nice and empty. Now we've done here, we've got our evaluation. We're checking again on the south side. We were checking to see if anything in there is still in the crafting grid. If it is, we Push the we grab the items and then we push them back into our storage system. Check, sorry, excuse me. Check again. If it is, loop, 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 loop. If it isn't, then we release the lock and we mark it as okay. So that is the craft, the auto crafting, or that should be the auto crafting. So all we can do now is check to see what happens. So if we save that bad boy and call that auto crafting, let's not do capitals because they mess it up. Crafting. Go. Okay. Take you out of here. And do man to join the game. We'll say hi to do man. And then we will put our other crafting card here. And then again, just for cleanliness, we're going to put this to reset just to make sure everything's okay with our processes. And then we're going to clear this down so we can see any errors if they appear. Hopefully they won't, but if they do, then we'll see. So now, time to check to see if this works. So let's get a couple of these out and we'll do something nice and easy like some wood. So if we go here and put wood, now I know we've got lots of dark wood, so what we're going to do is I want some dark wood planks. 
So all you can do is shift click that, that shift click it in, into your regular 3x3 grid when you've right clicked with this in the, in the air and you get this. So click update and then we can leave this alone. So first test, if we put this into here like so, do we have any errors appear? Okay, no errors appear so far. If we're looking here, nice, we see the crafting here, which is this in here. So if we take this out again, we look over here, it's now gone. Okay, makes sense. So now our next test is if we press this, is it going to craft it for us? So I know, do we have, so look at how much wood we've got in our system. So we've got 49 um, wood planks. So we just take this out, would be best. So we have no... We have no um, dark wood in our system. So if we go here and we request this by just clicking it, we get OK and it says OK and it's done. Relatively straightforward. OK, so now we can do this. We're checking our system again and do wood. We can see there is now four of these wood planks in there. So it's all working. So let's just go try another one again. So let's just try a, let's try a crafting table and check to make sure that our, our loop works. So crafting table, we want, uh, but, but, but is it going to let us do it nicely? Where's the, where's the dark wood, dark wood, dark wood, dark wood. Is it going to come about? If I was to do it like that for now, and we'll put you, you, no, 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 no. One of you and put you, 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 and you. Update. And then we can get this card, put this card into here. Nope. Into here like so. Now we already have four dark wood in our system so in theory if we request this once it should get okay. Now we're checking our system and crafting. We have three crafting tables but now if we also look there we do not have any more dark wood again. So to check our loop works we need to do it now is if we craft another one it should say it's crafting four wood and then it's crafting the crafting table. So as you can see it crafted a crafting table and that was with that loop system here. So that's working. Yay! Oh, it's so nice to have auto crafting set up now. Now, obviously, this is this is only until we until we get the um, A2 stuff. But for now, this is ingenious. It's amazing. It's going to save me so much time. We can set this to auto craft. Oh, I cannot wait. It'd be so much nicer. But yeah, I think I think we're doing pretty good. We had a bit of a hiccup in the middle when we we're just double checking this section. But you know, it all seems to be working quite nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right. So that's what I am going to call it for today. If you guys did like this episode and you did find it useful, please do hit that like button. It does help out my channel a lot. I mean, so much. Um, and if you do have any questions, if I've confused you or you, you would like uh, anything, any more information or want to go a little bit more in depth about it, then do give me a shout in the comments and I will help you as much as I possibly can. Um, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Um, and that also does help out the channel a lot. Um, but yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.